Good afternoon. Welcome to Back to School Night. It is Tuesday, September 29th, and thank you for coming. Um, if you need YouTube translation, please pause the video. Please pause the video and take a look at some of these instructions. All right, welcome to Civics. My name is Jesse Horton, and I will be teaching your child about civics and government this year. All right, so a little bit about myself. This is my eighth year at Glasgow. Um, I really love teaching here. I love the community. I love the diversity. I love everything about it. Um, I hope we get back to the building sometime this year because I run an after-school soccer program that the kids really seem to enjoy, and I enjoy as well. Um, I received my undergraduate degree from Florida State University and my master's degree from Florida or from George Mason. Apologize. Um, I'm from Florida, and I love sports. I love sports. I play all sports, particularly soccer and basketball. All right, so learning in civics, my personal educational philosophy, I believe that students learn their best when they are engaged in the learning process. They work collaboratively with their peers. They recognize parallels to their own community, and they have opportunities to share their own thoughts and opinions. Okay, To be successful in this class, students will need to be positive and open, attend and participate in the class learning, complete their assignments in a timely manner, and feel comfortable reaching out to the teacher for help. In civics and just overall, I feel like the best learning happens when students are kind of driving the instruction, when they are engaged, and when they are sharing their opinions and sharing their thoughts, and they can see what we're learning about in their own lives. And I really try to, I really try to provide that kind of atmosphere for the students in the classroom. So what are your students going to learn this year? We're going to start with citizenship. What does it mean to be a citizen? Then we're going to move to political parties, Republicans and Democrats, and how do they get elected and what's the point? Founding documents, where did our government come from? What documents gave them their power? Constitutional government, how do we divide power in the government? Legislative branch, executive and judicial, three branches of government. Economics, which is going to be a really big unit about how people interact with um, the government and taxes and money and how it all moves in the economy and how it affects the decisions and choices that are made. And then a little bit about personal finance. Um, it's kind of be rolled into economics, but it'll be some individual like ways for students to be responsible with money. All right, grading and assessments. In this class, we got formative assessments, which are checks for understanding during the learning process. In civics, it's going to be like reflections or Google Forms or assignment completions. Um, some of the assessments, which are judgment about what contact and skills were learned, e-carts and projects. Other feedback um, will be asynchronous and homework. Um, we don't do homework in this class, but we do have the asynchronous work. So teacher support, I am available. Um, if you look on Blackboard 24-7, you will find information about office hours. You will find in my email. Um, where the students can find all their assignments and their projects. Um, the syllabus is going up, coming soon. Contact info, jlhorton at fcps.edu. If you ever need to contact me, please feel free to email me at any time. And you'll find the learning grid, which is where the information about all the learning is this week. All right, Google Classroom. Google Classroom is where their students are going to find most of their assignments and all their work this year. So that's a good place to start. If you're checking for what my, what my student is learning on or working on. All right, so supporting your child. If you have any questions or if you're wondering how can I help my student um, make sure they're getting their stuff done, ask them, what are you learning in class? Show me your lesson grid. Homework. What assignments do you have to do? What do you need to do to complete them? Let's look at your grid together. Okay, so just check in with your students. All right, what kind of supplies do they need? Pencils and pens, um, a Glasgow Middle School agenda, a binder with loose leaf paper on notebook, FCPS on computer. All right. Um, we're looking forward to a great year. Um, thank you for coming. Again, if you have any questions at any time, I am here to support your students in any way that I can. Um, have a great evening.